sometimes it grows out a little bit. Hair, I'm talking about. Sometimes it grows on your body, you know, on your face, armpits, more importantly, below the waist. It's where it likes to grow at times. Well, Manscaped, who happens to be the sponsors for today's show, are the leaders in below the waistline grooming. They keep your short and curlies short and not as curly. They keep you feeling nice and fresh. They keep you ready for any occasion, you know? But more importantly, you might be asking yourself, well, how? How does that happen? Well, they got this instrument called the Lawnmower 4.0. Not 3.0. We had that. That was dope. But we had to upgrade. And at times you got to upgrade. We all know this. But the Lawnmower 4.0 with the light that turns on and off is waterproof and it is smooth, baby. Smooth, smooth, smooth. And it keeps you short. You know, it keeps your, your dangly twins feeling nice and smooth as well. But more importantly, man, with manscape we know they have promo codes and that code is moats if you use that you'll get 20 percent off of your purchase along with free shipping worldwide at manscape.com so don't waste time don't leave your dangly twins feeling too furry make sure you you know cut that coat back a little bit all right and everybody will appreciate them and you will as well so with that being said shout out to manscape <laughs> is it is it that guy is my locker mate on the phone right now it is is this the one and only Terrence Garvin? The 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 the, the, the Pittsburgh Steeler, that that dude, the West Virginia oh, Mountaineer, that dude. Shout out to the oh, Mountaineers okay. as well. So we all here. Uh, is that guy it, the, the 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 guy whose alumni or his 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 university had a big win this weekend? That guy, right? Did you see the statement we put I, out there? I, I, I did. I, I like how y'all bounced back. I you know, not every team yeah, is everyone was worried like that, and everybody is is you know putting out statement type about? games like that. So I just wanted to congratulate you on those type of statements that y'all guys made. That's all. See what you're trying to do. You ever seen Friday Night Lights before? Mm. Me. We, we got a I runner up there. We got a future. We got a runner. <laughs> you know, uh -oh. that 12 uh -oh. toting the ball. So uh -oh. if you look at it, 12 is toting. We just got to keep them in there. We got something. Uh -oh. We're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. All right. What's all right. up with Pitt? Pitt over there, though? Pitt got a dub. <laughs> Pit, pit, pit. Yeah, we had our third string quarterback <laughs> in. Juan on the road. It was a nice dub. We put up like 35 points. The defense played good. The disappointing one. I'm still not over the Tennessee game, if I'm being I frank with you. I was going to say, really why I was asking. I wasn't really talking about this. Well, <laughs> well so that had nothing to do with Pitt like, losing the game. It's just Slovis got injured. Yeah. I mean, that's really it. Refs were pretty bad, too. Bro, you should be. Went to overtime. Two. What's up? You should be one and two right now. One and two. He said, "Y'all uh, should be one, one and two. We should be three and zero." Listen, no we still have national championship hopes out here. No, you don't. The no, college don't. football landscape is pretty insane right now. Any team could lose at any honest. given moment. Let me be honest with you. Nothing and no shots at nobody, but nothing's coming out of the ACC into the playoff this year. It will be USC will steal that spot. Jordan USC Addison looking good out there. Caleb Williams, they looking good. Yeah. They looking real good. USC will steal that spot. You'll see two SEC teams and you'll see a Big Ten team. Bam and Georgia. All right, Big Ten be Ohio Florida, State. Yeah. The winner of Penn State, Ohio State, and yeah. SC is going in the playoff. That's the playoff. I'll tell you that now. Y'all can mm. mark on everybody that's listening. That's the playoff now. Mm. I don't want to go, but that's the playoff it, right it now. It do it's sound kind of real. It, it do it's sound kind of real. The winner of Penn State and, and USC is going to steal that fourth spot. They're going to, USC is going to go. Bro, they got some buzz yeah. over there, man. I'm, I'm tuning in watching them, man. This this quarterback receiver connection, Deke, I, I don't know what it looked like at Pitt, man, but that Caleb Williams and Jordan Addison, I'm like, whoo. It ain't the same. It looked it's nice. Over. It looked nice. It, it, it looked so it, nice. And they're probably going to lose another one to like an NC State quietly. Like, Ew. quiet. Ew. Yeah, Ew. I'm dropping. Yeah, I'll put that out there. You got to stop schedule watching. Ew, that was nasty. He said NC State. Okay. But nah, TG, man, you know we got to talk to you, buddy, because we got some serious business going on here, man. Obviously, you know, the good guys took an L last night, or yesterday, excuse me for that, man. Now we're sitting at one and one in. Mm -hmm. Talk us off the ledge, man. Is there okay. some reasons for us to be optimistic about this offense, about this defense? Do we need to put Mr. Bisky in the front seat, take him around the corner, and come back with him no longer in the car? Is that what we need to do? Like, what, what, what you seeing right now, man? Talk, talk to me, baby. Talk. To I know it's two games. But you, I want you to talk about it. Um, I mean, let's not like that's still the Patriots. Like that's a good program over there. You know, he schemed them up nice. I felt like, um, I don't know. I think the O line just got to come on. We just waiting. They still, you know how this thing go. It's still early in the season. Like 
don't push no panic buttons yet. Don't push no buttons. It's still early. Like, mm. it's still early. Um, I think they'll win next week. I mean, you know, Coach Tomlin's going to come back. He'll put it back together. Sure. We, I think you know, we got to go take care of the business over in Cleveland. Take the little bus ride. It's that O-line. I think he just got to keep keep trying to get that O-line together. Yeah. You know? I really don't think – it might sound crazy. It don't matter who's in there. Like, if you don't have time to get it to somebody, it, it's not like that. And it's a couple of sacks that he took that he probably could have got the ball away. Mm-hmm. But I just think he's still trying to – it's still gelling. Mm-hmm. That's my opinion. I think it's still early. I don't think there's no time to panic on the defense. I actually think the defense is playing all right. You know, yeah, they're they're on the field a lot, but they're playing all right. You know what I mean? They're still they're still gelling. This but, whole but, thing's still. Gelling. But but you're telling me you don't think that this was is is not a quarterback thing though? I just think it's too early to say that. Because, I mean, so what were we gonna say? Go ahead and put Pickett in the game. It's time to say that. You know, that, that's, and that's, like, that's what people are saying. I'm not saying that, but that is what people are saying. So I'm just trying to get your opinion on it. We knew we were going to say that. We told, we said that anytime yeah. you do anything wrong, the booze and the chants are coming. Yeah. It's just natural. But it's like, we can't, we just, you don't want to put that in and then not do better and it actually do worse. And then you feel like, oh, we don't have nothing. Mm. You know, you know, it's kind of like get the pieces around it together still. It's still a building thing. It's still getting that offensive line to gel a little bit harder, a little bit better, and then we'll keep going. I told you after the bye week, I think you'll see the switch. After we'll the bye? Okay. After the bye week. What do you think? Do you think fair yeah. to think about? Because if, if Mitch keeps doing that, I feel like we just need more. We need like a second gear from Mitch, the offense. And if you think Pickett could give the team that at least, then you know what I mean? Just why not? It's not but like I mean, Mitch is getting blasted. But what makes him better, though? You know, like, why is he automatically the better guy? Like, you don't. It's certain things in there, like, we. Yeah, but hear, hear, hear them out. Go, go ahead, say. I'm just saying, if you think Pickett's a better quarterback, I, I, that's simply it. But he was saying, like, why do people think he's a better quarterback? That's what well, I think saying. he's more accurate. I think better decision maker, better reads. He's a better decision maker already. Like, how can you say that? He's well, never. From what he's shown, I mean, he's a rookie. I mean, and this is what most, so, me and most so were how talking can you say about. That? Yeah. What's up? So it's like, how can you say that? Like, he's never truly went against. If we being honest, he's never really went against the total ones on defense. Like, you know, it's you've seen pre-season. him in preseason. Yeah. You've never seen him truly make a decision. Like, how can y'all boo what might be the best quarterback in there right now for, you know what I mean? It's almost like you're going with the the one you think, not the one you know. Like, you know what you're getting right now. It's like, this just needs to get better. Like, it needs to be more time. It just needs to come together. Right. I remember this is only his second week in there also, you know? So it's like it just needs to come together. It's gelling. It's still gelling. I think if you go pick it, I think you're already saying, like, no matter what happens this year, we're on to the future. I think that's what I don't think that's saying we're still trying to win right now. I don't think that's what that's saying. I think I think with a rookie, you're going to get rookie mistakes. I think with a rookie, you're going to get rookie things happen with that. You know, while, you know, Trubisky's been in the league a few years. We're not saying it's the best quarterback, but. It's certain things he might have seen. You know, experience take, does a lot. It does yeah. do a lot. It really does. And, like, it's not like he has all day back there to throw it. That's my only thing. You know what I mean? It's not like he's just holding the ball and it's just like that. That's not That's not what's going on. It's, he just needs a little bit more time. And it's learning the offense, too. He's done the same learning the offense, too. He's still flowing, too. He's growing it, too. Yeah. But I think he's the best option as of today. Today. Any question marks about Matt Canada? Oh, we're turning on everybody after the loss. Hey, hey, the TG, loss. TG, I hey. tell you, I've been in here with the vest on, bro. I said the same thing you said. They was over here trying to shoot me up. I said, bro, I can't wait till TG get on. And you literally <laughs> said the exact same thing I just said. I looked at the chat and nobody gave you any smoke. They was over here like most a hater, most a fake fan, most ain't watching tape, most don't know that. I'm like, bruh. <laughs> All I said was just two weeks. Be patient. I was saying, <laughs> hey, bro, they they, they 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 just sprayed me up over here, man. I'm over here like y'all limping. I'm leaking bad. T, I'm leaking bad, bro. <laughs> you got to I mean, so everybody was in a good mood last week coming out of that yeah, game. That's correct? what I'm sa- like, bro. It, we was beating our like chest. last week. They last was week was a, yeah. Last week was a dog fight. You know, so it's like you can't. You just can't. You can't think everything got to change after a loss every lot like it's yeah. week two like this is week three coming up you know let them get that bad taste out of their mouth and yeah. see what go from there no nah, i'd agree man i would definitely agree yeah. but how you feeling about this matchup though man speaking of short week cleveland 
Now they're missing somebody this week. If I remember, Clowney. Clowney's not going to be playing this week. That's who it Clowney's is. Out yeah, Clowney's out this week, man. But how you feeling about this one? Short week, man. Quick turnaround. Must win. Must win. We <laughs> must already win. there. We we already at must win. Yeah, you got to win this one. Though. T- T- you, you, hold on now, T. You just told me we had time. We had patience, man. We ain't got to rush. Now you with some nah, must win. Come on, T. God dang, bro. You trying to make the play. I'm still bigger than that. You got to steal suck. this one. I I'm just suck. saying. You know who? You know I like. I like four. I like four. I don't want to. I don't want to start no problems. But oh. I like four. I feel oh. like when four come back, that I, I, team will be I, different. I got what you you're talking about. I, I see now. what you're saying. I see you what you're saying. You buddy. Know, <laughs> I like four. <laughs> I like four. I think, I think that's going to be a problem. I'll tell you. See, I don't want to stop. You know what I'm saying? Chubb run the ball hard up there. They got a good old line. Hey, they got a beat that bite. Clowney going to be back. They got miles. That's a lot. So, 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 a lot. So, so we t- D, do you, are we at must win point for you as well, man? This is going to happen, man. This, this, I told the you this is a lighter part of the schedule with them we having to have that. We do. We got to win this game. We have to win this game. This is a must win. This is one of them. Didn't they gotta... just put up 30 yesterday? They just dropped yeah. 30, right? Yeah. Did they drop 30? They, 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 they lost like the last signal, like a last yeah, second field goal. Yeah. yeah. That's a good. Hey, I oh. told you. That's a good team. That's a good team. I'm telling you. No, they played what they lost to the Jets. If, yeah. And check it out. If, if the running back steps, if he just falls mm-hmm. at the one yard line, the Jets have no more timeouts. They win that game. Chubb scored. Oh yeah, he they did score. Yeah, you're right. He absolutely did yeah. score. Chubb scored. They kicked it off. They went down and scored. Yeah, lost the game. You feel me? If he just takes a knee, and I, I, I'm all for him. So I, you know, but if he just falls down, you know, mm-hmm. type situational awareness. I'm not saying he's whatever, but the but game's I get what over. You're saying, though. Yeah, the game's over. So I'm telling you, that's a good team over there. That's a good team. I think you, it's a must-win situation. Got to come in here and steal this. So then how Not you feeling well. about this quarterback matchup then? If, you know, we're saying this is a must-win, and obviously we know that they don't have a Deshaun Watson, but they got a Jacoby Brissett. Do we right. feel like Mitch is the better it, quarterback in this matchup? Yes. Uh, Was that not <laughs> seem like definitive? You didn't even, you didn't even think about that, man. I, I thought you were saying inside of Pittsburgh's building. I'm sorry. I think. I don't oh, know. Oh, you wow. <laughs> Yeah. You, are wild. Oh. Damn. you are wild. Damn. Oh, wow. Damn. I thought you were so saying what? internally. So you oh, think so? Oh, my God. Damn. I thought you were saying internally. Bro, wow. Wow. You are wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I like Pickett. <laughs> That's the future. That's the future. <laughs> I keep it. Wow. Wow. Bro, why we act? Mitch was a first round pick two at a time. I know, like, I know, I know. come on. Come on. That was a that first at a time a lot of people were in love with him. That was a one. Yeah. It was the first that was a first round pick. You know? It just you see these first round picks, they all don't work out. So what happens if you put this in, it loses all his confidence and it doesn't work out. You can kill the future by like, putting mm. it in too quick. You really can't you really can. You really can. I think I think this time to grow and see this is important. You know, he's still getting reps in here. Yeah. He was in college last year. This time, you know, come on, it's a different game. So it's like, um, I think out of the two, the better quarterback. I don't know. That's tough. I I like Brissett. Brissett has won games in the league though, hasn't he? He's won a lot. Yeah. He's, he's proven he's in the league. You gotta respect it. Yeah. You know, he's got a lot of weapons over there too. He's got a lot of weapons. Um, I think it'll be a fast game. I think the ball will stay on the ground a lot. You'll see a lot of runs. Oh. The game will go quick. Oh. Yeah, it's going to be a dog. <laughs> and it's a Thursday. You know how that Thursday, goes. Thursday, yeah, Thursday ugly. You know that. Absolutely. I hate Thursday games. Absolutely. I hate Thursday, I hate Thursday night football. It's absolutely it's, terrible. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's terrible for the athlete. But, um, yeah, I think the Steelers will win this. I think it'll be a dog fight. I think they'll go win this stuff. Yeah, I think this, it's a very must win though. This the must win. The must win. And you said we not so so on record, just mm-hmm. settling with Mitch Trubisky. You're saying you're not making a move or you're not thinking about making a move until bye week time frame, correct? No, no moves are made to the bye. No moves to the bye week. Okay. All right. Uh, somebody gets hurt. Somebody gets okay. hurt. No thoughts. No thoughts either. What, what about a thought? Yeah. <laughs> 
Nick said, "What's the thought?" Hold on, hold on, hold on. TG, let, let me let me pull the curtain back too. He's sitting yeah. in here with a big Ben Seven hat on on top of I that. Believe. Okay, I he believe. was he he dropped two vids yesterday. One said we need Kenny. The next one said we need Seven. All right, That's a, like, two he options. Seven right. to come back. Yeah, he said he, he said either he said either Kenny or Seven. I'm just giving you the context. Okay. That's well, what he said. We bring seven back and fire Canada immediately for sure. But that's option one. I don't think the Steelers are going to do that. Option two. Yeah. Listen, listen. I think I think we give we give Trubisky we give Trubisky some time here. We we give him this week three. See what he does. You give him week up to about week seven. When's the bye week? Week seven, right? Yeah, we're like right in the middle this year, or not right in the middle, but like in that time frame. Yeah, we just need bye weeks right now. That's when the, that's when he's gonna call in the, the righty. He's gonna make the relief. <laughs> call in the righty. You're saying no right matter now, what? I think if the – because they're one and one right now. What yeah. is it? Is it exactly week seven? What is it? Let me pull it up. It's between week, like seven, week seven, eight, eight nine, yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah. If they got a winning record going into it, he's going to stick with what's working. But if the offense isn't picking it up, I think you'll see. I think just – I'm telling you, I kind of – in my thought, I think you'll see it after the bye week. Mm. That's my opinion. That's when you usually see it kind of happen. That's when you got the most time. Yeah, I'm seeing week nine. Yeah, week nine by everything you'll, you'll makes sense it. with that. You'll, he'll give him two weeks to prepare for mm-hmm. the opponent he's gonna see. If that makes sense, like that's when you'll kind of see it, and they'll start to they'll start to warm it up. But you'll see it after the bye week. Okay. All right. Okay. You'll probably, I I tell you this. Let me see. In, in most, if I'm right, that's I, you know I know something. Oh yeah, oh, you yeah. might see like a package come into play in the hey, next. Son, we, we I can't can stand come you because that's how it always. Starts. You might see a package come hey, into play hey, where he come. come on. This, this 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 Kenny Pickett packet right here, man. We just want to get yeah. us some reps. We just, just want to see something, man. We like the matchup this week. Hey, honey, we, we, we're going to expand it for five plays to ten plays this week. Don't worry. And, and all they're gonna do Saints is Saints at home after that bye. <laughs> They'll do something like motion them out, and it'll be a wildcat run, something like that. It'll be like, all right, all right, do you see it coming? I'm telling you, you'll start to see the package. No, no, typically I, that that yeah. I, I, we've seen that on numerous occasions. I haven't necessarily seen it consistently at quarterback as often, but that does happen, and you, you know, know it happens girl. for a you fact. For a fact, that's how it all starts right the there, pack, man. Got Jordan Love a that, package. That, that's how. Oh, they gonna give him a package. The Trey Come Lance, on. they hit you with the Trey Lance. You they just, you just, a just a couple reps, man. We just the third down package right here. That's all. Yeah, you want to see Let's something? Just, <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> so you funny, put, man. Put it you on funny. tape. You know I go. No. Put it on. Tape. We just want the we want the defense to have something to prepare for. That's all. We just try and get a look. That's it. Not, don't don't worry yeah. about it. Oh, all right. We just want to give them another look. All right. Yeah. And they'll grow that package. Yeah. All right. How's so, play? How we feeling about it? What's it up you know? with TJ? Are we panicking? <laughs> I mean, bro. No, nah, I think the defense is fine. I mean, it sucks not having them, but I, I think we'll make it work. I think that's the panic button right there. Well, the issue is he's not injured for the season. So yeah, with that with optimism, that- how do you determine his replacement? Because you're you know, not going to pay for that caliber productivity if you're only going to be needing it for eight to ten weeks or six to eight weeks. I but at the same time, we saw the pass rusher, the lack yeah. thereof at times yesterday, man. I think you got to go shopping. I think you got to shop. And JPP. Something right now, but, but who? But that's my thing because it's like when we're talking what it would cost for one of these marquee names that are still out like there. Like who, though? It's something D4. out there. D4, JPP. Those are the two bigger names um, yeah, in terms of like established guys now. And D4 fits our scheme more than a JPP. But those are the two, you know, it's names everybody. right now. Who'd you say? JPP, JPP fits everybody's scheme. I mean, of course. We know he, he's, of, he's a sack guy. He's a double digit guy. But more yeah, importantly, it, it's because he was a part of that the greatest draft class ever, 2010. Just throwing that out there. Hello. Okay. Hello. Okay. So he's a JPP, part He's a part of that class. Everybody. Okay. So that's why he fits every scheme. Of course. He fits every scheme. But he's going to cost. Or how much are you paying for eight weeks? That's the question. Because when TJ that. comes back, what are you saying? You're gonna say, does, "Hey, Alex Highsmith." But does you, it come back like how? I but like, listen, TJ. Me and you know that that doesn't come back bro, like that. We know that, but or, that's not the consensus. The consensus is hope. The consensus is he's coming back and he's gonna be TJ Watt Depoy as soon as he comes back. No, we know how it is bro. coming back from injuries, especially think, some bro. of the significant ones like that. We or get it. it. 
Did he tear it or did he not tear it? They or said did one doctor, it's, it's not off the bone. The, it's it's torn, are, but it's not completely off the bone. So no surgery, so, but it's so three dead. doctors said he tore it, and one doctor gave him no. It's not too bad, and we went with that doctor type. Man, look, look, I didn't look into it too much. Okay. All I I'm know asking. is they said it wasn't torn completely off the bone. He's, He's from that white bloodline, though. You I think agree. Big bro, came, Big bro came back from what a torn. He, bicep? He, he, no, he was torn off the bone. He had the surgery <laughs> on the peck and came back. Yeah, he'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. It's like, bro, yeah. certain dudes, man, they they'll do it. Now, yeah. is it the same hurt. impact? We don't know, but we're banking yeah. on it. So that's why it's like, man, do you pay a JPP that type of money? to come in if we're expecting TJ to come back in essentially four or five more weeks. I think you do. I think you go get something. So Cause I think if, if he comes back and he's not fully back and he has, cause he's not just going to come back and play every play, but that's the assumption. That's the expectation. We know that that isn't as realistic, but that is what the expectation is that when he comes back, he's full go. He's good to go. Don't worry about anything. And that's why for me, I'm saying if that's the case, you don't need to bring in a JPP because all you're going to run into is the Melvin Ingram situation from a year ago where you got a guy that wants to play that deserves to play. But by the way our roster is set up and the politics and everything like that, he's not going to be out there as often. And that's going to cause an issue because we know JPP ain't going to go for that. It depends what the what the team's doing, though. You know what I mean? If things are going... I don't know. Nah, that's tough. That's all. I'm I think saying, you got to. I think you got to get somebody though. I think you got to get somebody. I think you got to fill that void a little bit. You know, <laughs> even like a Taco Taco Charleston that's still out here. Like I, I about think you taco. can go back. Tomo Taco yeah. been here before, man. Wait a minute now. Yeah. Deke was a Taco fan. He was a Taco fan. He wasn't bad. Yeah. He was taco he wasn't fan. terrible for us. Oh, yeah. I like his celebration. Think, celebration yeah. fire. Love love the chain. Yeah. Love the chain. <laughs> <laughs> he got a, he got all the intangibles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, I think, but maybe you go get something like that, and you fill the void of like a two for one ish type for that position. Well, you know, I'm, what, what I'm, about what about the uh, Deke's other homeboy? Um, I don't know if you play with him or not. Cassius Marsh. What about Cassius? Cassius? Marsh. You remember Cassius? He's a pass. Yeah. He could, he rush the, He's not going to do everything up. But he rush the passer now. We know he yeah. do that. He might. Yeah, I like the, you know that'd be a good one. That'd be a good one. That definitely been going. I think he's super athletic. Um, I don't know. Like I think it's somebody that's been in the building before that comes back to the building type. Mm, Maybe Debo okay. comes back. Maybe Debo does his Debo move. Maybe. Maybe we start. <laughs> hey, a, son, maybe, don't, don't you plant that seed? Don't you? Don't maybe, you we do that, a, maybe we start. Maybe we start. Don't you plant that Debo. seed? Don't you do that? Don't like you that. plant that seed? Because you know, maybe Debo does the Debo. Bro, <laughs> and you know, of all people, he'll be the one that feed right into that he'll thing. He, 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 he'll fly to Pittsburgh tomorrow, drop a pick <laughs> with his shirt off at the dock, getting checked. There, you know how Debo play. Like, yeah, come you on, know, bro. You, you know, you got to go. He is shape. Maybe Debo. Come for it. Boy, say yo, just say Debo up, man. As All much right. as we joke it, that might be the one to come do it too. Right? <laughs> well, because I mean, you bring up a good point in the sense of man, if. TJ is going to miss a substantial amount of time, and when he does return, is not going to necessarily be TJ Watt, Defense Player of the Year for the first you know couple of games or whatever. Then sure, it does make it a little bit more intriguing. But my whole issue with it is like, man, how, what caliber replacement are we looking for? Because my question to you, TG, is is Cassius Marsh going to be an upgrade over a Malik Reed who we have in house right now, or a Jameer Jones who we have in house right now? You know what I mean? Right. And it's, and it's those type of dudes where I'm just like, well, if all we doing is just spending money, we're bringing in the same caliber of guys. How does that improve our situation? I mean, if they're if they're in the building because they gonna know the defense too, like they know what they're doing, you know. And if they're doing what they're supposed to do, and it's just a little bit of productivity, like you're not gonna get the TJ Watt productivity, mm-hmm. but just a little bit, they're doing what they're supposed to do. They're you know, even the sense of the trash work, like really getting that age set. You know what I mean? Really, you know what I mean? Like little stuff yeah. that you don't, but that really shows up. No, without you know, a doubt. When, when that wide come back, really crushing that wide coming back, setting that edge so that linebacker don't have to big, don't have a real big, real, 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 real big C gap, but he has a light C gap. You know, little stuff yeah. like that. If they're getting the job done in the sense of that, you might not get all the sacks, but they're getting the job done. They're keeping the defense whole. And yeah, that's what you go with. But 
if, if you, you know, if you start seeing them run, start squirting out a little bit harder and you start to put it on the linebackers and it's not all the way on the linebackers, you know, then it's like you might got to go shopping. Okay. You well, felt like that? Yeah. I like, it. I, I like everything you said. I just won't fill in the Debo one. That's all, man. But other than that, I was good. I was like, yo, I, I'm rich. You drop Debo. Deeper. I'm like, bro, that, that's like when, 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 when Deke say, yo, bring back seven. I'm like, bro. That's like no. what I'm saying. Bring back Debo. I'm like, bruh, come on. No. Man. It's yeah. not the same. It's come different. It's, it's not? It's night and day different. Whoa. Because <laughs> one's realistic and one's not. It's night oh. and day different. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you felt <that>? Okay. <laughs> I'm picking up what you put down there. Say no yeah, more. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, with that being said, man, uh, uh, last one I have for you then before we get up out of here, Coach Garvin, how y'all boys yeah, looking man. this week, man? Your your team, your squad, you know, how, how y'all feeling? We got, we just coming off a big win. I, I seen, you know? I seen, yeah. Yeah, come on. Linebackers looking good. We had okay. the national play of the week this week. Okay. And okay. Christian Mabel okay. went crazy. Four sacks, seven mm. TFL. Mm. You would have been happy. Okay, I'm okay. I, I like I'm that joking. type of energy Come right on. there, man. Come on. So we got a bye week this week. So I'm just locked in. I'm trying to see, you know. Okay. We watching good this okay, I like it. I like, hey man, don't forget, Jam, you playing this weekend too. Big one, App State. You know we want all the smoke, baby. We nah, want all you that smoke. You don't want we no want all that, that smoke. We got App State, baby. Uh -huh. with, you know what time it is. You know what we on. You know what we on. Just let you know. Hey, but all of uh, huh? We say who's winning tonight? Real quick, it Bills tight. Bills Titans. Tell me. You, tell you me really like. asking me who winning yeah, tonight, bro? You know what time it is, man. Seven one six representing man that blue and red going crazy. You already know Josh Allen finna go stupid on him, and we got to give him get back for last year, man, because they got up out of there with that win last year. They, okay. they, they thought it was sweet, so we're gonna have to remind them this year and watch for Dirty Red to go off too. He gonna have. I, I got Dirty Red getting three special teams. Shout out well. Dirty Red. Shout out Dirty Red. All right, shout out Dirty Red. But yeah. Man, I, I got, I got Bill's getting it done tonight, man. Just throwing it out. Tavon Austin's on that team, too. So hey, you know what you it think. is, man. Let's go, man. Shout out to Tavon, man. Hall of Famer, Hempstead, and Bailey, they going to yeah. uh, all the, all and, the homies. Come on, and man. Gino. And Gino. Gino couldn't beat it because he had the game. I get it, man. But salute all three of them dudes, man. Absolutely. Salute, man. But, but yeah, it's, def it's definitely Buffalo tonight. All right. All definitely right, Buffalo. Right. Hey, but appreciate right. you as always, Lockamate. You already know that, baby. Appreciate you, my guy. My dog. Hi, bro. Peace. Hi. Right.